Hello people, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Modular Builds. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And that last episode's module build was a campus, and you guys really enjoyed this. We kind of built the frame here, and then jumped into Begusia to see how this thing kind of fits into a wider town. So thank you for all the kind comments and likes and feedback you gave in that episode. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. And whilst this modular build is kind of really big and quite grand i wanted to go back to something a little simpler today kind of you know which is the heart and soul of the modular build series like we did with our um our little tram park over here that we built many many moons ago now hopefully you guys can see now how how great this thing looks when it's kind of surrounded by these high rises and then you get the little trams kind of moving back and forth lots of people waiting in there so we're going to kind of build um, another open plaza today uh, using some of the new Sunset Harbour transport stuff. So let's go ahead and dive straight in. So this particular build that we're going to be doing today is going to make use of green cities and Sunset Harbour. Green cities isn't essential, but it will certainly kind of help you, uh, you know, just detail out a little more. And this is also a great build for kind of transitioning into downtown so we'll jump into my desert map after we've built this so you can kind of see what i mean by that so the first thing i want to do i'm going to use the four lane road with bicycle lanes um, and we're going to try and integrate this into kind of an inner city cycle highway so let's go so again from any kind of snap node any point in your city where you want to place this i would recommend kind of on the edge of suburbia we're going to drag our four lane bicycle lanes out by a distance of 3330, which is a fair old distance. There we go. Boom. So, a nice big long straight road like this. Super easy, super simple. Okay, so we're going to grab our two lane one way road with grass. And then from the, thir the third marker point along here, so this is the first one, the second, and the third, these are intervals of 10. We're going to click from this third one and we're going to draw out by a distance of 1500 or 30 tiles and then I'm just going to switch that direction back round again. Okay. Then from this road right here we can see we have these two markers here again which are 10 and 20. We're going to come right into the middle of those and then we're going to come out by 20 or 1000. Just like that. So you can kind of see how that works. Then we're going to come into our medium roads and grab just the, the regular old median. You can continue the bicycle lane here if you want to. So we're going to come out and meet him up there. And then meet him up there again. And then you can carry that on. And I'll kind of show how you can begin to transition into your higher density stuff down this road. Uh, but we'll, 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 we'll cover that in a moment anyway. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come into our parks and plazas and we're going to grab the Paradox Plaza. You can use any of the other plazas if you like, but your measurements will have to change. We're going to place this guy in right up alongside this road here. So what that's going to do is going to give us space to continue our road up here. And then come around the back of him like this. Okay. Then... We're going to grab just regular old pavement path. These are the ones that kind of come with the base game. And we're going to draw two in right next to each other like that. Might look a little strange right now, but we'll be able to do some nice things with those little holes in the ground. Then another Paradox Plaza right next to those. And then we're going to draw this road back down like that. Okay. Super. So from the bird's eye view, you'll have something that looks a little bit like that right now. It looks like I've gone a little bit too far here. So just bring that back in line. And then we're just going to draw these in at 90 degree angles. So that was a little bit too far by the looks of it. So just take a little bit off. And then you'll have something that looks a little bit like this right now. So we've got a nice one-way system going on. Got some nice little kind of focused park and plaza assets right here. I'm beginning to kind of see something take shape. Uh, so now the part life DLC is going to come into play. With this little first block that we drew in here, we're going to convert this into a city park. Now, I guess you can do a theme park or a zoo if you like. It really does kind of depend kind of what feel you want to go for. 
Uh, I'm just going to use the regular city park stuff and we're going to detail this out with some nice little little park assets and stuff. So obviously come into your city park. Which gate you want to use is up to you. I prefer to go for kind of the small part main gate for this. I'm going to draw these guys up on the edge of the tiling. So we'll have one there. And then I'll throw in a side gate on the opposite side as well. Just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my part path with decorations. And just hook these two gates together like that. And then really, whatever assets you want to place right here is entirely up to you. you know, it really kind of depends on that theme you want to go for. You want it to be quite kind of modern and nice and open space. And uh, the plazas work really nicely. You could maybe mirror a couple of little cafes either side of this thing right here. You now it's really up to you. If you wanted to go for maybe uh, the climbing frame, you could probably squeeze that in too. If you maybe wanted to... Kind of drop this thing in on the corner right here and then drag a path up. It's kind of really up to you in which direction you want to kind of take uh, this city park. You know, just kind of do what you want with it. Play with some assets. It's not really part of the modular build as to what you put in there. Just uh, maybe have a different, have a, use some different assets that you wouldn't normally use. Then all our snapping is off, we're going to go to angle, so just angle is on and then we're just going to draw in some nice simple park fencing all the way around this thing, what it's about here, and right into the corner and back again. And that's just going to help create a nice little box for us, so you know it fences off the city park like this. I'm going to go ahead and grab a unique building and grab the locomotive halls. And where this is going to fit is perfectly between this distance we had right here, right in front of the plazas that we placed in, yeah? So it's right on the main road with the cycle lanes here. And then we're going to be left with this space right behind it. So if we grab our two-lane road, and you can actually grab uh, the two-lane road with the one-way road with grass here. If we draw in the road right behind, we're not going to get back-to-back -back zone in here, which is not what we want. So we're going to delete that. Then we're going to move back one snap node. And what you're looking for here is this perfect 4x4 back to back zoning. So you see you've got some in there and some in there. Like that, yeah? So we'll, we'll kind of talk about what we're going to do with that in a minute. Then we're going to introduce some public transport. So if you're maybe looking to introduce some of the new elevated metro stuff, and um, this is a perfect chance to kind of uh, implement it into the build. Uh, you can either go with the, the regular one, the one that's on the ground, or the elevated one. If you're kind of transitioning into high density, then this is a great point to start your metro line. You know, this can be the first stop within one of your lines, and then you can then carry this on into your high density. And uh, it'll look kind of really nice as it um, just fits into the build really well, I find. Okay. So you're going to have your metro right there. And it looks really nice as well in front of the plazas. And we'll talk about what you can do with these here. So where you get the breaks in these lines, if you're not playing with prop anarchy, uh, then you can actually do some pretty cool things with these little holes in the ground. Uh, so let's say if you wanted to grab a palm tree. Uh, let's take the brush size down here. So you notice as we kind of come over these little spots here, you can actually place trees in. So obviously they're going to intersect with the path. You can't do it. But where the paths meet, you have these little holes. And you can actually place stuff in. So I kind of like to place a tree within the middle one and then you can either go for some like large bushes or the small ones and just kind of fill those holes in like that right and that's just going to give you a nice kind of decorated path you can also do the same uh, up along the side as well if you wanted to and you've got a little bit of leeway room you might struggle to kind of get those ones in but uh, you know you can do some nice stuff down the middle and that's going to give you a nice little path that just kind of sits outside uh, the front of the metro station. It's very small detailing, but it looks pretty nice, I think. Okay, so let's have a little discussion about this space behind uh, the locomotive halls. So you will need green cities to do this. If you are playing without green cities, then feel free to just fill this in with any zoning. You can maybe do some more park assets if you like. Really is up to you. 
So we're going to draw out a district and then we're going to apply the local and organic produce specialization to this. And then we're going to grab our commercial. We're going to go to marquee. And then what you want to do is you want to draw out two by four zonings in a checkerboard pattern like this. Now, with the local and organic produce specialization, there is an asset that spawns that is just a parking lot. This will take a while to come in. <laughs> For those that have been watching the live streams, we know that we tried to replicate this and they do take a long time to come in, but they will eventually come in and then you can make them historic. So we're gonna cut the video now and I'm gonna wait for these things to actually spawn in. All right guys, so this right here, the Edison Hypercharger, this is the commercial asset that you want to generate in. So you can kind of see, you know, it is just uh, a car park by itself. There's no building tethered to it. And uh, there are a few other green cities buildings that do kind of come with, you know, a lot of their, a lot of their building is kind of car park. So you've got this one right here as well. This kind of got a little car park tethered to it. So it kind of depends how anal you are as to how much you want to wait for this thing to spawn in. <laughs> it can take a while, but once you have two next to each other like this, you can go ahead and fill in the second one right here. So, you know, you'll start to get another one in and then you'll just have this, this big block of parking lots. Or for those playing without any type of mod, then this is a very slow but effective way of getting some parking lots within your cities. You can see how long it takes for them to spawn in. It is not a quick process, so don't think and you'll be... You know, it's best to kind of draw these zonings in, go away and do something else, and then just keep checking on it and coming back to making sure that they're growing okay. And that, you know, just deleting the ones that spawn that you don't want. It's a process, but it is an effective way of getting some parking lots within your city. So you see see this one here. You know, this one's got a little bit of a parking decal out front. So if you want to introduce some of those into it as well, then you know feel free if you don't have the patience to sit and wait. But yeah, that's how you can get some parking lots in your city. And uh, yeah, okay. So what we'll do now guys is we're going to dive into my desert city that we've been building on the live streams and discuss how this thing can be used uh, to fit and transition into that high density kind of stuff that you may want to build. And yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, guys. So we're back in the desert city, which is uh, something we've been building on the live streams. So if you haven't stopped by for one of these, uh, they're always uploaded to the channel afterwards. If you guys want to kind of go ahead and check them out, these are kind of like two to three hours long, and uh, we're kind of using them to experiment with some modular build ideas, use some unique buildings that we wouldn't otherwise use. And uh, yeah, it's turned into quite a nice city. We've still got a lot more to build, and uh, this will be making appearances on the live stream. So stop by for one of them if you want to. Uh, but hopefully you guys can kind of see the resemblance as to what we've just built here. So you can see this one's a little different, you know, like I said, we use this map to kind of formulate modular builds and you can see the kind of repeating themes with the plazas and the building and the car parks in the back over here and the park at the front. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take a little look. So obviously this is our main cycle road here and you can kind of see how this is integrated. It's getting a lot of use, lots of bikes everywhere which is uh, really nice to see. Stops people using cars, which is uh, which is great. So this is integrated into a cycle highway that runs throughout the rest of the map. And then we kind of come along here to our front. You can see I just used the, the plaza and the, the two cafes. I wish I had a little more room to kind of push this back, which is why within the modular build measurements, I said, you know, maybe give yourself a little more room to push this thing back a bit more. And obviously our locomotive halls here is kind of, you know, off centre away from uh, the overground metro station here. So I thought, you know, let's switch it around. But you, you guys can see the themes. So right here, this is where I put in the, the car parks for this area. So you can kind of see as they sit next to each other, you get this kind of perfect, you know, there's no gap between them. So duplicating that pattern as many times as you like, which is, you know, it's still that 4 by 4 zoning with the marquee, uh, 2 by 4 sorry, so you got a 2 by 4 right here, and then you just kind of wait for them to come in, like you know, it is a very long process, but uh, you know, it's worth it in the end, in my opinion. So you know, we've got the locomotive halls here again, and then kind of let's have a little discussion about how I wanted this to kind of 
transition into high density. So facing back this way, we have a lot of low density stuff, a little bit of commercial here, but it's all kind of suburbia. All over here, you know, these are kind of the first things that you'll build within your map. All your like, you know, your low density suburban stuff while you wait for the, the other stuff to unlock. And then just kind of having this large open space with a nice unique building, a little park, a couple of plazas. You can then begin to build your high density after that. And I think it just provides kind of, if you're looking at the skyline here, it's a really nice transition just to have this open space. Rather than going kind of like from, you know, low density on one side of the road to high density on the other. It's a very harsh transition when you do that. So for me, this is just a nice little way of, you know, transitioning between the two different densities. You can kind of see here again, you know, we placed in those paths, dropped in some little some little trees and some little bushes. And then we have uh, the beginning of our metro line here, which uh, heads off into another part of the city. Decided to draw the metro between uh, all the high density zoning over here. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty nicely, in my opinion. And uh, kind of with some kind of no man land we had here, I wanted to kind of make, you know, just a little bit of, basically, you know, it, it's no man's land. It's just paths, some overgrowth, a few trees and some rocks. You know, you don't have to zone everything. And it just serves as a nice little, again, I feel like I'm repeating this word a million times, but it's a transition. It's a nice little way uh, to move into that higher density part of your map just to have a nice open plaza like this I uh, also plopped in one of the uh, unique buildings from the Japan content creator park again this has got another kind of parking lot uh, which one is this actually let's double check for you guys so this is a small office building so you're going to get that car park on the side of it and then uh, we had a path that runs through here into kind of the higher density housing that we've got going on and then you know, it kind of passes just right by there, the overground metro here. So it turned out really nicely, in my opinion. Uh, I will give you guys a nice little cinematic look at this uh, and kind of move through uh, the day-night cycle so you can kind of see how it performs and how much traffic moves through here. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like below is always appreciated. Equally as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. I felt like I wanted to move back to something a little simpler and a little smaller with the modular builds after doing uh, the farm and the campus. And we do have um, a forestry, an airport and a couple of other viewer requests that have come in uh, for modular builds. So we'll definitely be doing some stuff on those too. If you do have a request, maybe you're stuck for something to build in your city and you're not quite sure how to put it together, please leave it in the comments below. And I would be happy to try and put something together that can help you out. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the outro, Taj. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.